Okay, here we are with our first Big Four pattern release of 2022. It is the Simplicity Early Spring Collection. So let's jump right in, see what they have got in store for us. First up, we have a Mrs. Top pattern uh size range 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24 and then they still have their hard to navigate website but <clears throat> nonetheless <laughs> this is how we have to do it so here we are okay so this one looks like it has like a set in sort of lantern sleeve with an elastic band at the bottom and then this very kind of large keyhole that ties at the top. And then just sort of a straight, slim fitting bodice. I'm pretty sure this is a woven blouse, but we've got some neckline variations here. This one has the little ties like in a V, um, which is not the same as that. Yeah, these ties are up higher at the neckline. So um, I don't know if you would actually tie that. It would make like a little bow, like way down here at the V. I don't know about that. Well, there it is, all tied up. Um, and this one also has an elastic waist uh, on the bodice. Here's the version the model is wearing, but with a kind of shorter sleeve. Still has the elastic band, um, but just more of a bubble sleeve, I guess, than the lantern. This might be the one the model is wearing, the sleeve. I don't know, it's hard to tell because this one looks like it has like some shape to it, like it's a uh, closer fit through the bicep and then it billows out like a lantern. But here is the back view, kind of long um, when it's untucked. So I do appreciate them providing us with this photo of it untucked so you can see how long it is. It's kind of like a tunic length, um, which is nice. You know, I'd rather have more of... Uh, uh, to work with where I can shorten it to where I want um, than to finish sewing it and realize it's it's too short. Um, but if you're planning on tucking it in like this, I, you kind of need it that long. You know what I mean? So nothing comes out. These jeans are not fitting her very well, but that, neither here nor there. Um, okay, so we have A, B, C, and then D. So yeah, D is the version that she is wearing. All right, so they are recommending chambray, lawn, rayon, silky type, soft cottons, extra fabric needed to match plaids. All right, so I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this. You know, your lightweight, transitional type of wovens. Um, something that's like, you know, it can be moderately stable um, or like lightweight, super drapey, um, nothing too stiff. I think a shirting might be a little bit too much, but if it was a shirting blended with rayon, um, that could definitely work. Uh, threads and then bias tape, elastic, a bunch of elastic. Okay, cool. And then, so they are calling it a tunic. They're calling version A a tunic. I guess B and C might be shorter than A, and then D is also a tunic. Okay, so these two might have shorter hemlines, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. It doesn't take a ton of fabric. Obviously, the tunics do I'll take a little bit more, but you can get this done in just about a yard and a half. And then finished bust measurements is what they're giving us here. We've got a 33 and a half up to a 49. So not, certainly not the worst we've seen, but you know, not great either. All right. And then a little description here, pullover tops and tunic or hip links featured V shaped and cut out necklines with self ties, three quarter and elbow length sleeves scattered to elastic. View B has a waistline elastic creating a peplum look. Cute. Cute. I mean, obviously this little like floral that they chose, tucking it into the denim, you know, it's a really cute spring spring look for sure all right now we've got another top this one is described as peplum tops have options for side draped pleats or inverted pleats sleeves are in three lengths with invisible zipper invisible back zipper closure sizing is 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22 so the largest of the 
smaller one and the smallest of the larger one do overlap, but that also means that we are missing size 24. <clears throat> so it's like a little bit of give and take. I like when they overlap, but then obviously I like when there's more sizes too. So, um, all right. So we do have a full on waist seam here and then our options are either this little tuck situation. Also, a, I think that's a grown on sleeve with a baby hem. Hard to see the neckline because her hair is covering it. That's the longer sleeve version that she's wearing with pleats. That's the version she's wearing. That looks super sweet in a print. Or you can do these inverted pleats. Which I don't think we're going to get to see on a model. But here's the short sleeve version of that. So two sleeve lengths two bodice tuck options and then everything has this center back zipper sweet it looks like they made it in like a little silky type of fabric too really pretty all right let's take a look at the back envelope so yeah lightweight drapey wovens for sure uh chalet charmeuse crepe de chine double georgette silky types you can even use a jersey knit and soft cotton blends so they're staying away from things like chambray because they want it to have enough drape for these little tucks and pleats now and also the sleeve now that's not to say you can't use a lightweight chambray just know it's gonna like you know be a little bit boxier and stand away from your body more um, but i think it would hold up to the pleats really nice um all right what else Yardage wise, even this largest size, I mean, uh, one and a half yards, so great little scrap buster. We have bust and hip finish measurements. I think the waist would have been helpful here just because it has such a defined waist, but nonetheless, we've got a 34 to 47 and a half inch bust measurement and then a 25 to 38 and a half inch hip measurement, which is not, not a lot. Um, but then again, I guess it does end at the high hip, so you have to consider that. It's not your full hip, like down where your the per, fullest part of your bum is. So keep that in mind, too. <clears throat> All right, so here are our line drawings. There you go. Seven, I mean, nine, four, seven, zero. Next up is yet another top. Um, this one is a button front blouse in two links, uh, have options for full sleeves and extended cuffs. Sure, uh, shirts, I think that's supposed to be short sleeve, <laughs> short sleeve or sleeveless, all have front and back yoke without ruffles. 6 to 14, 14 to 22 again. All right, let's take a look. So we've got a button front you know, standard button front bodice with the collar. Um, did it, it, it did say it had a stand collar, right? So this is like your traditional collar. We've got patch pockets, which I think have like a little ruffle detail on them. And then all the drama comes in with this sleeve. It's a very, very full sleeve um, that comes together, I think, in a cuff. Let's see what this one's like. This one has, is this this? I don't think so. Let's look at the line drawings first since these prints are sort of hard to see. Okay, I see now. So it has a yoke that goes into gathers or <clears throat> the gathers can have a little ruffle over the top, which is the version that she's wearing. And then it also has this really sweet like half ruffle in the back. That's cute. And then sleeve wise, oh, you also have two collars. You have your, your fold down collar and then your just regular stand collar. And then sleeve wise, you have a basic sleeve with like a smaller cuff and then you have a gathered sleeve into a very full voluminous, you know, sleeve and then a longer cuff here. And then you also have, I guess this version is the same as this. So it's like more of like your traditional um, cuff. And then this one has the four buttons here or sleeveless. So three sleeve options, two collar options, two bodice options. All right, now that we've got all that figured out, here are some of the illustrations. 
I don't, I think I like this. I can see how maybe if you're fuller busted, it would be like, why would I want to put ruffles on top of my boobs? But <laughs> it is sort of a looser fitting um, garment. So I don't know that it would fully accentuate that. But if you're smaller busted, it could definitely provide you with some interest there that you don't normally have. <laughs> The sleeveless version is really sweet. And then also, of course, consider lengthening this to a dress. It would be super easy. <clears throat> so here's the version they have her in, tucked into some white jean shorts. They made up the full, uh, full length cuff version. All right, and then here's a photo of it. Okay, so when I saw the half, um, I wasn't considering, I thought this stopped here, but that doesn't make any sense now that I'm, <laughs> now that I'm seeing it. They're trying to give us two versions in one back. So obviously the back of D, the ruffles do go all the way around, which is what we have here. Super cute. And then here's the length. You can see that it's super long. There's also some kind of slit or something that I didn't notice. I don't even see it in these line drawings, but maybe it's just folded or tucked in a funny way, or it's a weird angle of the just lighting or something it does look like there's something there but i guess not and here's our the back of the envelope so batiste chalet charmeuse cotton lawn lightweight cotton blends uh swiss dot shirtings and then silky types and wall so this is more of your more more of your structured lightweight wovens um you don't necessarily have to have a ton of drape. I think that you could, um, but having it super drapey, you'd have to just figure out the collar and the cuffs and interface those in a way where, you know, they obviously still stand up. So we have almost two, two and a quarter yards, almost three yards for B, you know, when you have that really full sleeve. And then finished garment measurements, they gave us the bust, which I, yeah, I guess is really all that matters. And this is going to be pretty roomy, I think. A lot of uh, wearing ease for sure. Design ease too. <clears throat> um, 34 inches up to 47 and a half. So that is our little spring 22 version of a button down shirt. Next, we have a unlined jacket. This one's really cute. Uh, relaxed unlined jacket in two lengths. Has drop shoulders, patch pockets, sleeve bands, back slit. Choose from two shawl collar options or collarless views. <clears throat> Sizing is 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. And we have a notched collar. Kind of, you know, drop shoulder giving that kind of loose like boyfriend jacket vibe <clears throat> into your sleeve that has this little slit at the cuff which is sweet it does look like there are like so uh, this seam here that goes up into the sleeve is really interesting to me that is a seam right again hard to see um then you've got patch pockets and it's unlined so i imagine you have some kind of facing in there but that's it and no button closures, I don't think. Eh, I spoke too soon. Okay, so there's a button closure here. This one is the collarless view. <clears throat> and there is no seam there. Or the side seam turns into the sleeve. Something happens here, which is unique and different and kind of cool. Let's see if we can get a better view of it. This is the version she has on. <clears throat> and then you have a shawl collar that's unnotched. Not notched. Um, and then they just put one patch pocket on here, like a bit of asymmetry. So you have your notched collar like this, like this, or you have your unnotched collar. <clears throat> here is another version of the unnotched collar with the longer sleeve and two patch pockets. All right, here's sort of a side view. This one's made out of some kind of chambray. It's just too hard to see. But man, that is a very interesting sleeve. How it, the sleeve is coming all the way almost to like, I mean, I imagine her bust apex is somewhere around here. This looks like it's coming into her bodice like a lot. 
here is the same version, same photo as the first picture. You can just see there's just like so much fabric up here, which I guess, you know, is kind of that again, relaxed boyfriend vibe, but only in the sleeve and the body is like kind of close fitting. I think that I like that. I think that I don't not like that, <laughs> but I can see how maybe once you get it on, it would feel like maybe too much. I don't know. And then you have just this back slit. It's not really like a vent. It's just a slit. Um, yeah, I don't, it's cute upon first glance, but I just don't know how this would look on lots of different body types. You know what I mean? I guess if you have a fuller arm, you would like this a lot. I don't know. I, I'm on the fence about this one. I would need to see it made up and worn on like more body types than these two slim, beautiful, but slim ladies. Um, easy to sew. Yeah, I would give them that for sure. Definitely easy to sew. All right, here's the envelope back. Linen, which I think is the pink version, is some kind of linen. Cotton, chambray, denim, rayon, double gauze, poplin. Yeah, so a little bit more into your mid-weight wovens. <clears throat> you just need one button for A, C, and D. And then two and a half yards, two and three quarters. That's not bad for a jacket. Finished garment measurements. The bust is 36 and a half up to 52. Again, because it's just so roomy. And we do have that extra size 24 on this one. All right. So, oh, Mimi G's versions, or uh, new patterns. Shirt dress with a belt. So, mini dress with front and back yokes has body darts, wide front placket, pocket details, belt, and top stitched bands on sleeve and skirt hem. View A has same features with above knee skirt and back slit. Designed by Mimi G. Okay, <clears throat> so... This is what we've got. Um, a bit of a longer shoulder line here. Um, normally it would end right about here, but this seems to be like a bit of a drop shoulder with a yoke, very wide band that sort of stops like a, like a Henley would. And then you've got all these details like these um, patch pockets with pleats, these extra wide belt loops that also have buttons on them. Uh, belt from cell fabric even the buckle and then these patch pockets you also have this little detail here added to the sleeve with just like some top stitching basically and then your regular hem and then you have a version let's look at this one not zoomed in um same everything all the way down to here except she added on this little flounce and the Flounce has that same detail from the sleeve onto the skirt hem, which is what is making it look so, like, ruffly. You know what I mean? Um, so, here's the yellow version again. Here's the back. So, the back does have fisheye darts. And then, also, the skirt has a back seam with a vent. I think you can still see her markings there. I've done that. Been there, done that. Um... Oh, and then the full collar with the collar stand, too. So here they are side by side. Very cute. Very flattering. Very yet flirty. <clears throat> They're really sweet. This would obviously look good on lots of different body types. I think that's the one thing that Mimi is able to accomplish with all of her patterns. Denim, linen, poplin, rayon, sateen, shirtings, and twill. Mid-weight wovens, for sure, especially if they have a little bit of stretch in them, um, like a stretch sateen. Uh, rayon, I don't know about rayon, unless it's like a rayon twill. Um, it's just a little bit misleading, because you would be combining the weave with the fabrication. But either way, um, notions, 13 buttons and a two inch uh, buckle that you will cover in fabric. So I think it's not just, I mean, I guess you can use like a regular two inch buckle, but you can also find them that you can cover um, yourself as like a little kit. 
So two and a half yards for the slim version and three and three quarter yards for this one with the flounce, just because, you know, flounces take up so much fabric. Finished bust measurements, 34 and a half to 50 inches. And then hip measurement, 36 and a half to 52. And then, yep, that's it. That's it. Cute. All right, let's look at her other one. Oh, a little jumpsuit. This is going to do really well, I can tell. I can tell already. Step in jumpsuit has halter surplus neckline, bodice yoke with gathers and set in waistband with elastic and drawstring details, option of angle and mid calf lengths, designed by Mimi G, 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. All right, let's take a look at all of this. So you have this surplus neckline that goes into a halter beyond flattering. This idea of it being a halter where a little bit more of a shoulder showing that goes into a kind of faux wrap. That's what surplus means. Um, really, really beautiful. And that's going to look so good on so many women. And if you think, oh, I have broad shoulders. I don't want to accentuate them. Just try it. Just try it. You'd be surprised how flattering this can be. Um, especially when you've got such a defined waist, it kind of creates like a little bit of an hourglass. But um, then you've got this elastic waist. There's kind of a lot of fabric here. I don't know about that. I'd be checking the, the lengths. Um, but the pant looks really good. The fit of the pant looks amazing. You've got some pockets, drawstring, and then you can either have them at this mid calf length or you can go all the way to the ankle and this one it looks like she made out of like a like a loungy type of fabric again a lot of length here so double check that <clears throat> here it is from the side again i love that she provides all these photos this one only looks like it's less volume because she has it kind of like folded and and pushed down a little bit but you can see here how much we've got just a little bit a little bit too much and then here's the back obviously because it is a halter top you know you've got kind of an open back this might be a little bit too droopy again you could tighten that up some when you know figuring out your muslin and all of that but that's really cute I think that's gonna do really well I think that's gonna do really really well for her uh, crepe de chine rayons batiks cotton lawn gauze so she didn't mention this and maybe i'm wrong maybe this isn't like a jersey but it looks it looks like that to me maybe she would say on her instagram which one they're made out of especially now that she has the um that fabric store okay so here we are notions elastic cording all of that three and a half yards, three and a quarter yards, depending on the version you make. So a little bit of a fabric hog, especially considering there's no sleeves or anything, but it must just be because the volume and you know, the cross bodice does take extra fabric. All right, finished bust measurements, 36 and a half to 51 and a half. And the hip measurements are 38 and a half to 54 and a half. Again, just kind of a lot of designies um, there. <clears throat> Cute. Okay, next up we've got, it's probably going to be a women's, yep, women's dress and jacket. So sizing here is 18 to 24 and then 26 to 32. Uh, V-neck or jewel neckline dresses have flared skirt, optional three-quarter length sleeves, and self-belt. Backs have invisible zipper and back waist darts. Princess seam jacket has shaped hemlines and is fully lined. Okay. So beautiful little neckline here. We've got princess seams. We've got a set in sleeve, uh, waist seam I'm presuming underneath this belt, some pockets and like a full skirt that goes below the knee. Here it is sleeveless and in a print. Beautiful, kind of your classic fit and flare with princess seams. There's the version the model's wearing. And then here's another little version without the belt and then the sort of uh, jewel neckline. Here is our jacket. Um, 
maybe they were going for like an Easter church, Easter Sunday type vibe with this. I think our biggest critique of the women's patterns so far has been that they're all kind of matronly, you know, like this is the, this is one of the cuter ones that we've seen from Simplicity. So I, I'm not going to criticize it too much, but it is giving me mother of the bride, um, giving me Easter Sunday. <laughs> um, here's the back invisible zipper, uh, back waist darts. And then there's the belt. <clears throat> it's not terrible. It's just not as fun and flirty as maybe I think our full figured friends deserve. Um, but it's a nice, lovely little dress. You know, every woman probably has an occasion to wear a dress like this every now and again. But, like, how many of these can we crank out um, as a designer? How many patterns are we going to give, you know, the women's category that look just like this? You picking up what I'm putting down? Also, we never see the jacket, which is, like, you just didn't make one for her. Like, I don't know. I want to see the jacket on too. That I think that they are pretty good about whenever there's two pieces, a dress and a jacket, dress and pants, tops and pants, whatever they end up making samples of both, but this one they didn't. So, um, all right. Cotton blends, crate back satin, double knit linen blends, PK, Ponty, Poplin, Satin. Yeah. All of those like sort of mid lighter side of mid weight wovens. Um, here are all your notions. And then fabric requirements, three and a half, three and three quarters, just about. The dress C. Oh, the sleeveless version is only one and one. No, the sleeveless version is three and three eighths. And then you need a little bit of lining because the bodice is lined. And then your jacket, um, you need a little bit more than, a little less, well, a little bit more than one and a half yards for your jacket, but both the lining and the dress. Um, please see the guide for finished garment measurements. No! So, <laughs> this gets unhappy with that too. I get it. I get it. Okay, so here are our line drawings again. Very classic, you know, fit and flare. This is giving me a little bit of a vintage vibe, also. Sort of, I definitely think this is something you would see, like, you know, on the show Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, but is it something that, um, the. Is it something Midge would wear or is it something like her mom would wear? You know, I don't know. Okay, next we have, is this the same? No, it can't be. It is. It's the same dress, but for misses. So, that's so interesting. Two separate listings. Normally they would just have like, four sizes in this select a size, but they didn't. They gave the Mrs. category its own listing and then the women's category its own separate listing. So you can see that they made the jacket for this girl. Um, so you can see what that looks like. I don't think that because she's slimmer, this looks any less matronly. <laughs> um, but Again, it's one of those dresses, you need a fit and flare, you need it for weddings, for church, for, you know, special occasions, um, day events and all of that. So if you don't have one, you know, this is not a bad one. Um, it, maybe it's this jacket that's just really throwing me off. I don't know. I think we should move on. <laughs> I'm just like finding myself spiraling um, when it comes to this. The dress is great. The jacket, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And I also don't know why they got two separate listings. I don't know. That's kind of making me feel a little bit icky. I don't know why. Okay, so dress, Mrs. Dress. Deep sweetheart neckline dresses have bust cost adjustment in two links with option for contrast overlay. This pattern features gathered waistband and gathered skirt, back variations for deep V opening or closed back with waist darts. Okay, a lot going on. Um, these prints, I get it's early spring. They're wanting to give us the florals and the pastels and all of that. I don't think that that is helping with the matronly look of all of this. So instead of seeing this print, I'm going to envision Kate Middleton. 
and in a beautiful, rich tone, deeply saturated, solid color. Okay, try and picture that with me. All right, so we've got this deep sweetheart, which isn't super deep. You know, I mean, when they say deep, I was kind of picturing deep, but no, we're just this sort of a sweet deep. Um, you've got a like fuller sleeve. Then you've got like a cummerbund waistband into a gathered skirt that is midi length. Here is another version, slightly more modern fabric choice here. Um, you can also see the princess seams here. I'm not getting this from her. Maybe there's two different V's. No, all of these are the same. That's a sleeveless version. And then what is this? Quilted fabric? I don't know. I don't know what that is. All right, here it is from the side again. And then here's the back. They chose to do the closed back version, but there is also a deep V back version. Again, sort of retro vibes, but also younger and more modern. Um, this one, I guess the, the cross lines is some kind of netting or something. So really sweet bit and flare airing on the little bit of like the fancier side. Um, brocade, charmeuse, chintz, cotton blends, crepe, damask, dubioni, jacquard, lame, silky types, taffeta, and double knit. So it really kind of runs the gamut here between very structured to very drapey and a lot of different weights. Like <clears throat> cotton blends and crepe can be lightweight, but dubioni and chantung are usually pretty weighty um, and then you can have this contrast which is what that netting thing was in chiffon georgette lace tool embroidered mesh novelty sheer so the embroidered mesh is very uh inspiring but again that's a fancy dress it would be a beautiful wedding dress am i wrong like even if you wanted to make it floor length, I think it would be really pretty. At the very least, like a rehearsal dinner dress or something. They have all this. I was just at Joanne the other day. They have all this mesh with like pearls. That would be so pretty. Um, okay, so we have notions include just a zipper and thread. Um, three, four yards-ish. The bodice is lined. And then your overlay and then finished bust measurements are 34 to 49 and a half. <clears throat> yeah, she's cute. She's just a little bit more mature, I think, than the Simplicity uh, brand is or has been uh, really trying to target. So again, we've separated out the women's version. I... I Maybe some of you guys can verbalize why that feels wrong to me. I'm sure there's a good reason, like maybe something to do with like e-commerce and having them separated makes it easier to search. Uh, I, I don't know, but I'm just not loving how they're getting like separate pattern numbers. I don't know. But... Regardless, let's give her her time to shine because she looks amazing. And here is that kind of like, this one isn't embroidered. It's the one that has little velvet dots on the mesh. But that's kind of the vibe that they're going for. And you can see that the mesh is like bigger than the underlining. So it does create more of like an illusion. Um, really pretty. And then the deep V on her is like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Here I am with my deep V. So she looks incredible. Um, they did give her the deep V in the back as well. That I appreciate that they gave the straight sized girl the full back and then gave the deep V to the fuller figured woman. Appreciate that because there is no reason why she can't wear the deep V. As you can see, she pulls it off beautifully. So yeah, there we have it. Super cute, but clearly this is a fancy dress.
Okay, so now we have some sportswear. I feel like we're going off the rails, guys. I feel like I was so excited, first big four, and then here we are with Return of the Jedi. Oh, who's wearing this? I don't understand. Okay, they describe it as a jacket with hidden button placket, front and back waist starts, and attached sleeves. Sleeveless knit pull on top with bias tape finish, crop pants, and midi skirt with side front pockets and invisible side seam zipper. Okay. Oh, man. Um, so, we have a grown-on sleeve, a high neck, invisible button placket, and then you have your pants, which we can't really see the waistband of. Here's the knit top, I guess. It's just your basic tank top. Here's the pant. The pant is nice enough. Right? <clears throat> and then this little jacket thing. With it does have seaming here. Here's another view of the pant. Oh no, this is the skirt. Thank God they didn't make the skirt. So here she is with a knit tank top. The jacket opened up, and the pant is that better? I don't know. I just I don't know if it's the color. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. The pants do fit really well in her derriere, so I will give them that. <clears throat> but yeah, the belt is not doing anybody any favors. <laughs> I have nothing to say. I'm speechless, I think. I'm speechless. I don't know. I, maybe it's like, maybe it's like futuristic, cool, modern. I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, but I think done up like this, the styling is, the hair too, like, uh, oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this. Okay. <clears throat> the knit tank top is interlock jersey, ITY, bamboo, modal. Perfect. And then the jacket and pants are chambray, cotton blends, linen blends, PK sateen, seersucker, stretch wovens, double knit, or ponte. Um, single wide bias tape for A? No, you can't put woven bias tape on a knit top. Okay. Um, six buttons, one invisible zipper. All right, a little one yard wonder on the knit top. The jacket is almost two yards, pants, and then the skirt. So we've got finished garment measurements for the knit top are gonna be a little bit different than the jacket, that makes sense. Same with the pants versus the skirt. Okay, all right, I kinda just need to move on from this one. Let's. Men in black that from our memories. This looks like a completely different collection, which is why I scrolled down. What is this background? Okay. <clears throat> so, Mrs. Top and Dresses, alphanumeric sizing, all the sizes in one envelope. Oh, the hat and the flowers. Like, doesn't this look like a photo shoot from like 15 years ago? Look, it gets even worse. <laughs> What's with the hat? What's with the hat? Look, look. Let me smell these flowers. They're fake. Wow. I don't know what to make of this at all. At all. Okay, so we have a square neckline with a yoke that goes into like a sweetheart your little sleeve with the band at the bottom. No waist seam or anything, just kind of flows away from the body and then you have a band at the bottom. You also have this top, okay, with the yoke and the sweetheart and the sleeve. That's actually, like if, if I were to crop it around all of this, that's actually pretty cool. Like. A little bit peasanty. They added a little bit of trim here. That's kind of neat. I don't hate that. This with the 
contrast fabrics and I don't know what are we I don't what are they trying to accomplish here who are they trying to attract with this like what what buyer somebody really young like I can see like a tween being like whoa cool look all these different colors and different fabrics and that's fun but this girl's like 20 something she's so unhappy okay like I said, this one's pretty cool. I think this could be cool. Maybe not so much with all the contrast. Maybe like a different kind of contrast. Maybe a different weight and structure of fabric altogether. I don't know. Chalet, chambray, cotton types, double gauze, handkerchief linen, linen types, peach skin. Please don't use peach skin. Rayons and silky types. <clears throat> uh, the top takes two and three eighths of a yard wow how is that possible the dress takes less than the top no oh it doesn't because they have the contrast extra good gracious three and three quarters of a yard for this dress no 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 just no the bus the finished bus measurement is 32 and a half up to 53 and a half Oh, man, I am just like, again, this is cute, but what is taking up all that fabric? They must have this self-lined, which you don't need to do. Um, I don't think the sleeve is lined and the bodice isn't lined. So this just must be self-lined. So you're cutting out four. You're cutting out two of the front and two of the back. <clears throat> so maybe that would cause it to be a bit of a fabric hog, but... It's not that cute. It's not spend money on three and a half yards of fabric cute. Okay, here we are with the skirts again. Um, six to 14 and then 16 to 24. Cute, I think I'm gonna like this. Pleated or gather skirt have waistband, side seam pockets and side zipper, length variations and optional side seam slit. I'm going to try not to look at her top because it is super cute. And they did this to us last year, maybe in the fall, where they had all these cute skirts and shorts. And then they paired them with these little crop tops. And everyone was like, where's that pattern? Like, we would buy that. Um, so, but, okay. So, we've got, like, a defined waistband. It looks to be a little bit curved. And then you have your little pleats that come down and your optional side seam slit. And then here it is in kind of like a linen-y version. It is just a basic pleated skirt. It's like, yeah, I probably have this in my stash. But the length of it, this side seam slit. Um, this like super defined yoke with the gathers. That feels kind of new and fresh. I wish they would have made that version. Because I'd like to know how gathery it is, you know. But yeah, I don't know. It feels new and fresh to me for some reason. Even though, like I said, I probably have seen patterns like this a gajillion times. Maybe it's like because I have a new kind of outlook on my personal style, whereas I normally would have just kind of like written this off. Now I can actually see myself wearing it. And so that's why it feels so new. Um, Chalet, Charmeuse, Cotton Blends, Crepe de Chine, Double Georgette, Silky Types. Yes. Um one and five eighths for the shorter version of the pleated one yeah one and one and a half to two and a half yards and then they did not give us a waistband measurement we just get a whole bunch of lengths so but here are our line drawings they put a pocket in this one well I guess it's in all of them yeah yeah, could be cool. I like that. I, I need more skirts, too. So. Okay. We might be on back on track. I'm hopeful. We have these cute little pants. Okay, not terrible. All right, so 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. 
Cropped pants with front zipper and elasticized back waistband, belt carriers, and yokes have three pocket variations. Pant hems are pant hems are wide or pegged with back hem darts. What is a back hem dart? So super fun. All right, we've got a curved waistband, a yoke in the front, and then we're gonna get three different pockets. So this one is sort of like uh, not a welt. Um, it's like a inverted patch pocket, kinda. And then you have an actual patch here. So they all have, at least on the front, maybe the back two, um, this little seam down the front leg that makes it infinitely easier to fit because now instead of just your out seam and in seam, you know, to work with width, you have this to play with. So if you have a full thigh or anything like that, it just makes it a lot easier to adjust. So here for that, I like the front yoke. I think that that's cool. I think that's really cool. So here, the, this is the pocket that she had on with a little patch pocket. And then you've got your actual patch pocket. <clears throat> what kind of pocket did these have? So these must have them just sewn in the side seam maybe. I think these are cool with, I like the way that it's styled. Like I like everything about it. I like the front leg. I like the length, even the color that they chose is good. Okay. Here's, here's where things could blow up. So we're about to look at the elasticized back. Okay. And sometimes these can come off a little bit diapery. So, okay. Not bad. Okay. 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 Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, let the all right, lots to take in here. I really like this. I'm gonna be getting this pattern. This is getting me like so excited, as you can tell. So we've got a back yoke as well, back patch pockets, but look how cool this is. It's like a swirly little seam. Um, again, if you have a fuller bum, especially like a low-hanging bum, you can make some adjustments here. It doesn't go all the way down the middle, so it won't adjust for calves, but I feel like, you know, it's cool and interesting and looks neat, which I think that that's what I am looking for in patterns these days. Like, I get that everybody needs the basic, you know, they're just starting out, but for those of us that have been sewing for 10 plus years and buying big four patterns since like the beginning, like we need a little bit something, something. So this feels cool. I'm here for this 100%. Okay, so I get the okay, so I get the line drawing looks funky. This looks crazy. But it's not it's not like that on her, you know, because it's not black and white and like I don't think you'd be doing contrasting top stitching. I mean, that could be cool if that's your thing. This does look a li I get it that it looks really funny. I get that it looks really funny in the line drawing, but just just trust me on this. These are cool. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Chino, cotton blends, lightweight denim, uh, not like chambray, but like a seven ounce denim versus a 12 ounce denim. Linen blends, twill for sure. Um, they have this, uh, actually, I was just, again, just at Joanne, they have a camo. Can you imagine these in camo? That would be really cool. <laughs> um, okay, so a button, a zipper, and then elastic for the back. Um, I mean, less than two yards, depending on the version that you're making, right about two yards. And then your finished hip is 35 and a half to 52 and a half <clears throat> finished. So pretty cool. I will be getting those for sure. 100%. So cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. We have a bralette and panties, uh, misses and women's all in one size here. So all sizes come in one. This is interesting. Wasn't Madeline a simplicity designer or did we? Oh no, this is her. Okay. 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 Then that makes sense why they're all in one size. <clears throat> um, I don't know anything about bra making, so we will just quickly look at the photos so you can kind of get an idea of what this looks like, but I genuinely do not know how to analyze a lingerie pattern like at all but they all look great 
I would never wear this personally, but they all look fantastic. <clears throat> Lots of different versions. She made up a bunch of different types. Have I gone back through again? Nope, still not at the end. They had to cut off her little booty. She can't... Oh, they did put it on the front cover, though. Okay. <laughs> I guess you have to show the back. Um, so, there you go. Do we see line drawings? No, here are line drawings. So, they do have a fuller back, if that's for you, and then all of this. Yeah, no, more of a uh, comfort over cute. Um, all right, so here is... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That is too much. Okay, so we've got costumes, children's clothes, doll clothes. Um, oh, they added some adaptive clothes. That's interesting. Okay, so real quick, we have a little, um, they're calling it a top, but it's more of like a little windbreaker. Yeah, like a little half zip. That's actually pretty cool. I would make this. Let's see it on the woman. Yeah. Um, yeah, a little hooded half zip, little athletic sort of jacket pullover. They're calling it tops, but it's definitely like a jacket. Um, here is the back. Activewear knits. Eh. Cotton nylon is where I'd where I'd put it. Ripstop for sure. Um, and then I guess all the sizes are in one. And then you have to A, B, and then con Oh, yeah. So you have to take your A or your B and then add in your details. And then finished garment measurements are 32 and a half to 55 and a half. And then the line drawings. That's really cool. I would make that and wear that for sure. I love that it has a little hook in the back. Cute. Um, yes, and all the sizes in one. I could see myself wearing that for sure. All right, so you've got a men and boys tracksuit. This little kid, this little kid, too much. Then we've got vintage, um, like re, re, not redesigns, but what's it called when they sell it again? Um, again, I don't really know how to analyze vintage, especially when it's just like a um, illustration that doesn't really tell me much about fit. A uh, little vintage apron. You've got a costume, and then kids' clothes and doll clothes baby clothes. Those are not dolls. Those are people. Never mind. So you've got kids clothes. They look like freaking dolls. Wow. Um, and the little baby robes. And then here's the adaptive clothing. Let's take a look at this. Cardigan has traditional V neck front. Buttons are for appearance only. So it's a pullover. Faux overlap on all views can be in either direction. Full back opening closures are hook and loop fastener tape for easy on and easy off dressing. Get creative with options. So for those who have difficulty with range of motion when it's too painful to raise one's hands above the head or on the back, opens and back with hook and loop fastener tape for assisted dressing. Placket, is, placket front is closed, sewn closed. So this is sewn closed and then in the back... So this is for, you know, they're obviously, you know, using this, these elderly people to demonstrate this, but it's also pe for people who are in wheelchairs. Um, so interesting. Here is the button down shirt. Again, similar to where the front is sewn closed. And then the back has your... Velcro. So cool. Thoughtful. And I don't see any, I can't think of anybody who's sewing for, um, sewing, in, or not sewing, designing clothes for um, people with special needs. So that is really cool. Go simplicity. Then we have another page here. Oh, here's a whole bunch more. Okay, so yeah. So recovery gowns. Love that. Obviously recovering from some kind of surgery. And so you get in and out of it like this. 
You also have this thing um, that kind of just uh, mid calf or below knee, uh, hook and loop closures and front pocket large enough for monitors and devices. This is incredible. It feels like they really did a lot of research to kind of figure out what people need. Oh, here are the line drawings so you can see all of that here. So cool. And then here's the one for the woman in the wheelchair. This is an adult bib, they're calling it. So there they all are in their different styles. There are, there gonna be more, okay. So here are the line drawings. They are like adult bibs. That's definitely what they are. Are they only meant for, and forgive me that I don't know this, but yes. Okay. I was going to ask, are they only for eating? And it looks like it is. So um, protect clothing from food and drink spills. So I'm guessing they also have you use some kind of fabric that is cotton, cotton blends, flannel, chambray. Yeah, just washable type stuff. Not necessarily like waterproof. Cool. Cool. And then we have a chemo head covering. This is amazing. Look at all of them. Here, let's go this way. Something funky on the picture there, but. I mean, I do sort of wish they would have chosen models that actually have hair loss, but I guess beggars can't be choosers. Probably hard enough to find models right now as it is, but. So there are your chemo head coverings. And then we've got a, what? Hot and cold comfort pack. Look at that thing. It's like a whole extra person. <gasps> comfort packs come in various shapes and sizes and are a household staple. Microwave for heat and put in the freezer for cold. Filled with rice or flaxseed, they contour easily to the body. Okay, give me this. <laughs> so you've got like a front body one, which <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can tell. I still have my cough and I have cracked a rib from coughing so much and so hard for so long. So this just is like, I need this right now. Um, you've also got this back, this one for your back, little ankle ones, little knee ones. <laughs> That's so cool. So cool. I would make those. <clears throat> Especially if you knew somebody that was like going to be going through something. I mean, how wonderful would it be to have something homemade? Cute. I love this. I love this. And then you have your wheelchair accessories. You have your walker bags. And then slip covers, car accessories. Wow. They really went all out with the, um, oh my gosh, with the uh, accessory and craft stuff. So stuffies, doll clothes, and then it's literally honey. <laughs> so it's like a bandana with like built in. She would never with her little ears sticking out of the holes. No. Oh my goodness, it's a bunny rabbit. Should I try? Should I try this? With the ears, um, the ear holes? Look, it's one for every holiday. Oh my god. Frenchy in a French outfit. Oh, that's really cool. I should get that just, just in case. Just in case. Look at it. It's like a head thing. I don't know, guys. I don't know if they would wear that or not. But we would definitely try. We could try. <laughs> Too cute. All right. So that was like a whole lot of serotonin release there in the end. A lot of feel good. Um, but back to the nitty gritty of the women's garment patterns. What do we think? I think that if you're asking me, there are some real, like, shining moments here. <clears throat> some real cute stuff that I don't feel like I have in my wardrobe already that feel new, feel fresh. Then we kind of went through a moment where I don't know what was happening there. 
um, especially here and here. Like, what is this? Both of these, I just need to be zapped from my memory. But then we got it back um, with these last few that we had. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, I have linked to last week's First Impression Friday here in the Insulate. Feel free to check that out if you're wanting a little bit of a binge. Otherwise, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.